It's a common practice for beachgoers, but soon the Great Barrier Reef could be applying its own form of sunscreen. New research has shown a sun shield could hold the key to protecting small parts of the reef from bleaching events. Peeking through the surface, these sun rays are threatening the future of the Great Barrier Reef. But a four-year scientific project could help protect it. Our collaborators from the University of Melbourne and Deakin University came to us with an idea that if we cut down the light reaching corals, it might reduce coral bleaching. Created using the same ingredients corals use to make their hard skeletons, the film is 50,000 times thinner than a human hair. The completely biodegradable spray is then applied to the water's surface to protect from sun exposure. A six-month investigation at the Australian Institute of Marine Science saw seven corals exposed to a simulated bleaching event to assess the effectiveness of the shield. And the results are promising. We found that over that period that the film did protect many of these species or most of these species even though we were only reducing the light by less than 20 per cent. Scientists anticipate they'll need another three to four months developing the technology here in the lab before it can be tested out in the field. They'll then turn their attentions to upscaling the project, though it's unlikely it will ever cover the entire reef. Parallel to everything the world must do to mitigate against climate change, we have to, in the short term, look at more techniques and step changes to help protect what is left of the Great Barrier Reef. The ABC contacted James Cook University and conservation groups. However, they declined to comment on the matter. Sally Rafferty, ABC News, Townsville.